Hi guys, I'm back after not doing a video last week. Um, I didn't have my makeup with me because I moved, so I just got it back, so now I'm uploading the video. And today, I'm going to do a purple cut crease because I got the um, new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I saw a purple in there and a glitter in there that I wanted to use along with the Modern Renaissance one. So, um... I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera, and now I'm applying that um, purple shade, which is blonde fresco, I believe. And I'm just applying it um, as my transition color because it is a light purple. And I'm just going to go out and um, start extending the wing at the end to make a cut crease. So I figured out what I wanted to do after putting the color on my other eye. And after I'm done doing this, I'm going to take the color Lore from the ABH Prism palette. And I'm just going to apply that to lighten up the darker purple that I have in before. Now I'm going to go in with the darker purple from the She palette by Colourpop and Karuchi. And I'm just going to do that to darken not the whole thing, but specifically just where I'm going to put the cut crease at, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to um, cut the crease um, on my eye. Since I have hooded eyes, I like I said before, like I always go above my little flappy fold part um, just to create the illusion that I have actual eye space when I don't. And this process takes a while just because um, I need to make sure that it doesn't look too extravagant and I always have trouble cutting the crease toward the end of my eye so you're gonna see me go back and fix it a bunch of times So instead of me going in and keep, you know, adding concealer to my face, I'm going to take a clean makeup wipe and just wipe the excess off that I don't want on my eyes to create a sharper wing for the, um, for the, the eye look. So now I'm going to take the shade Tempura and I'm just going to use that to set the concealer on my eye and to give my eye an even base.
So now I'm going to go in with the shade Dimension, which is like a very pretty silver, pinkish, purplish shimmer that is in the palette that I think is so beautiful. So I'm just going to go in with that. And I forgot to wet the brush before I started it. So I'm going to wet the brush, then go back in with the shimmer, and then draw the, uh, the line that way. So after finally finding <laughs> my black liquid eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and create a wing, not like as to put eyeliner on, but to connect it to the shimmer that I already have on my eye. And I thought that this process, honestly, I thought this eye look was going to be way harder than it was, but it was surprisingly easy. And, you know, I'm happy that I did it. It was easier than doing the neon eye, I tell you that. So now after cleaning my brush off, I'm going to go in with the color Obsidian, which is that nice rich black. And I'm going to use that to set and to blend the edges of my eyeliner and the, um, the shimmer that I have on my eye already. So after blending for a while, I finally, you know, will get to a point where I am content with the eye look after switching between the black and the shimmer. And, you know, yeah, that takes a while for me because I'm a perfectionist. But I'm going to clean up um, my eyes again just to get rid of the fallout from the black that I have. 
And then when I'm done doing that, I'm going to do my other eye off a of camera just to save some time and come back to you guys. So now that my other eye is finished, um, I'm going to prime my face with the Smashbox Radiance Primer. And I also have the Baby Skin Primer on my T-Zone and the Smashbox Under Eye Primer on my eyes, which I usually do at the beginning with my um, eyebrows. So now I'm applying this. It's a sample, but it's the NARS Radiance uh, Foundation that they just came out with. And I'm in the shade Syracuse. So I'm just going to use to put that on my face and blend it out with my elf brush that I have. And yeah. So now that um, I'm done blending it out and I'm satisfied with the results, I'm going to take um, two new concealers that I have, which is the LA Pro Girl Concealer that everybody uses, and I'm in the shade Pure Beige, and I cannot remember the name of the dark color, but I think it's like Rich or something like that. But um, I'm going to apply that to my face. Oh, you can't really see it. But I'm going to apply that to my face and my cheeks, and um, I'm going to blend the contour out with... Um, a brush that I have it's a more fluffier brush just because this um, concealer is more liquidy I don't want to use the skinnier one but this is a fluffy brush that I'm going to blend out the contour with first and then I'm going to apply the pure beige and blend it out with my concealer brush So after I'm done blending out my concealer and everything, I'm going to um, bake underneath my eyes and cut my contour with my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 25 medium. And I'm using a sponge to cut my contour just because it has a really nice sharp edge and I really like that to create a sharp line. But to set underneath my eyes, I'm just going to take a powder brush because once again, it gives a really good skin-like appearance. And... Um, to contour my nose, I'm going to take a really skinny fluffy brush in the Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Hazelnut and do it that way. So after I'm done applying it to my nose, um, I'm going to take a new product that I have, which is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I think that's what it's called. And I'm going to use that to um, go over my contour and um, underneath my jawline just to set everything in place to make sure that it doesn't move. So after I'm done doing that, you guys already know the drill. I go in with my pressed powder foundation from Maybelline in the shade 330. And I just wipe the extra powder off. And I also use that to set the rest of the makeup on my face. And um, I'm also going to fix my nose because I feel like it's a little too muddy. So I also take some powder, um, the Maybelline powder, and I just put it in the middle of my nose to break up the um, 
black radiance powder that I have blended in too much there. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water um, and press it in with the sponge to get rid of a cake-like appearance and a powdery appearance after um, you apply too many powders. So after I'm done doing my face, I'm going to go back in and finish my eyes. And for mascara, I'm going to use the Essence Mega Volume Mascara because I don't have lashes and I really like that this gives me some sort of of a lash when I use it so um yeah that's what I'm gonna do So now I'm going to take the color Lucid and I'm just going to apply that to my brows as a brow highlight and I'm also going to place that same color in the corner of my eyes because I love inner corner highlight. So now I'm going to take these lashes I got from AliExpress. It's in the number four, F42 and I'm going to do them off camera um, just because it's hard to put on these lashes on camera. So now I'm going to go in with the California blush from um, Benefit Cosmetics. And it looks a little too pink for my liking so I just go back in with the... Um, foundation brush the powder foundation brush that I used before just to soften the pink up a little bit because I got a little too happy with it and now for highlight I'm going to take the Urban Decay um, 8 hour highlighter in the shade Sin and apply that to my face my nose and my lips because I am a highlight queen if you haven't noticed at this point <laughs> So after I finally got this lipstick open, um, I'm going to apply it to my lips. And I honestly do not know what color this lipstick is, but I was looking for the I was looking for like a dupe for the um, for Rihanna's Mademoiselle's, and I really wanted a muted purple, and this one did the trick. I honestly think it's a nice dupe, but I'm still gonna buy the actual version because I love Rihanna. Now um, I'm going to set my face with the NYX Dewy um, setting spray because I want my face to look a little more radiant and not um, matte like I usually do. And I'm just going to fan myself with um, the palette I was using earlier because I couldn't find um, like a piece of paper or anything. So here's the finished look I did guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook pages where I list the products that I use and do occasional live videos on Facebook. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Love you.